My name is Paolo and I'm an imposter. <laughs> you are enough. Forget you are good enough. You are enough. Look at that. Those words have stopped you from being you. Now tear that piece of paper. Sit down, breathe and let it go. Be incredible, be you. Imposter syndrome is the, is the gap between your capability and how you see yourself. So There's a difference between what you can do and how you see yourself. I meet a lot of people every time for the first time. So I always have this belief that I'm not good enough as a, as a speaker and as a woman. Every time that I feel it, it almost inspires me. It was an uncomfortable environment because I didn't see anybody else who looked like me. I felt that I wasn't good enough, that all the team I was working with were a lot better than I, I were. Very often when you have the imposter syndrome, what you're trying to do is just survive the experience. <laughs> so I think what, what you learn to do though is to, just to be comfortable with yourself, is the way I think about it. And part of that is understanding which bits of yourself help that work, which bits you need to deal with, because you know, having an imposter syndrome is part of who you are. A lot of people mask and cover based on their personality type, and that, that is all blended in with introversion and extroversion, and reversed. Whenever you kind of listen to one voice saying that you're not good enough, uh, create a positive voice in your head, and encourage your positive voice to speak louder. Since I became my authentic self, it's kind of a superpower. You need to be able to be vulnerable, and for someone to be able to listen to you, so you can just pour it out. But you also need someone to encourage you. One of the big problems that men struggle to show vulnerability. So it means that often they don't have an opportunity to just offload, say, look, you know, I'm struggling. I think that's why it's important uh, for companies to create a corporate culture that actually allows people to be authentic self. And of course, it starts with the leadership, it starts with the managers, so that they feel, people generally feel comfortable that they don't need to be always perfect. To have clients like eBay who genuinely support and looking at ways that they can better improve um, the environment for their work, workforce and to create a, a much more inclusive um, environment for their, for their team is, is amazing. So thank you so much for allowing us to be part of your conversation. I've been on lots of panels uh, over the years and that certainly was kind of a level of depth and truth in the conversation that I've not heard in this kind of what can be a very business-like environment. So thank you for your honesty and thank you for your excellent questions. I'm somebody that also experiences imposter syndrome. You know, it's been amazing to hear all the insights from everybody. But, you know, what I've taken away from this is we're not on in this journey alone, that we all experience it. And it's been lovely to hear everybody kind of opening up and being very vulnerable and sharing stories and asking questions. So hopefully, like me, you've all got some insights and things that you can help to overcome that.